Good evening, everyone. We begin with the Fox 10 News Alert, and this is not the ending anyone hoped for. The remains of a missing Phoenix woman have been located by police in La Paz County. 37-year-old Irene Lovano was last seen early Sunday morning with her boyfriend. He's been arrested on unrelated charges and is now accused of murder. Fox 10's Justin Lum live at Phoenix Police Headquarters, where they just briefed reporters on what happened today and where this investigation stands. Justin. Yeah, John, we just came out of that news conference with Phoenix police. You just heard minutes ago. This has been a nightmare for the family of Irene Luvano, first reporting her disappearance on Sunday and now to find out this devastating news as they learn her remains have been found in La Paz County, nearly 100 miles away from where she was last seen with her boyfriend. The mom of six allegedly called her daughter and claimed that her boyfriend, 28 year old Jorge Lara, had stabbed her in the neck around four Sunday morning and they had been at the Silverado Canta bar earlier that night near 27th Ave and Camelback and within the next two days no one could locate Irene or the Chevy Impala the couple was in and Laura would be arrested within that time but on unrelated forgery charges that car was eventually found at a Filiberto's parking lot in Avondale Tuesday night and from then on Irene's family and friends put together search parties parties to find her in remote areas just south of where the car was found. Now today, police say they discovered Irene's remains, her body with obvious trauma off Hovater Road and I-10 in La Paz County. Again, that is 94 miles away from that bar Irene and her boyfriend Jorge Lara were at Saturday night. This area where the discovery was made is very remote. And when we saw photos and videos of the car located earlier this week, you noticed a lot of dirt on it as well. Now here's 28 year old Jorge Lara booked into jail, his mugshot. And when this case really unraveled, he appeared in court on forgery charges and court documents tell us he was heading to Mexico before returning to Phoenix, later located at the hospital with self inflicted stab wounds. According to police, they say he has ties to the Sinaloa drug cartel. Now he is the primary suspect in the case facing additional charges, including murder. As this investigation progressed, information was developed that led investigators to a remote location in La Paz County. After an extensive search, Irene was located in a desert area just after 10 a.m. She was deceased with obvious signs of trauma. Now, as you can imagine, the family of Irene Luvano devastated, heartbroken. She leaves behind six children, and this family has been searching relentlessly for her all week, calling out to the public and news outlets to find any clues, find any leads to find their loved one. Our hearts go out to them tonight. Live at Phoenix PD, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.